The deep recession continues to permeate the United States as evidenced by the latest report that the country's federal deficit has grown to a whopping $1 trillion with room to grow. There are still three months left in the current budget year. Former U.S. Senator Mike Gravel says the mountain of debt puts the U.S. in deep jeopardy. You just look at history and look at the failure of empires and it was always overspending much beyond their capacity. Uh, and creating inflation, devaluing money, uh, the dollar is, is, is going to tank. The June deficit totaled more than $68 billion, down only from the all-time high of $94 billion in June 2009. That month, the government spent heavily to jumpstart the economy and stabilize the financial system. The last stimulus package cost taxpayers $862 billion. The White House again is urging Congress to extend jobless benefits, increase small business lending, and provide more aid to cash-strapped states and local governments. It is a program that is both humane to the people involved, but good for the overall economy. If we could get a stimulus package that would focus on the unemployed, it would be a good idea, but that's not what happens. There's, there's too many special interests. Following the news of the sky-high deficit, the U.S. Federal Reserve released a report Wednesday painting a picture gloomier than expected regarding the U.S. growth outlook. According to the Fed, retail numbers are lower, mortgage applications fell, and the country is not growing as fast as expected. Meanwhile, public confidence in President Obama has reached a new low, according to recent polls. The latest Washington Post ABC News poll shows nearly six out of every ten Americans lack faith that the president can make the right decisions for the country. And once again, a clear majority disapproves of how he's handling the economy. Almost all Americans rate the economy negatively. Only about a quarter think the economy is improving. I think he could be doing better, but honestly, it's a really bad situation, so I'm not sure how much better anyone else could be doing. I think he's honestly doing what he can. I think we have another five years before we get pulled out of this stuff, but I think he's doing all the right attempts that he can do. Americans will be able to make their voices heard. Currently, about two-thirds say they are angry and will take their anti-incumbent mood into the fall elections, many hoping to clean house in Congress. For Press TV, Rhonda Pence, Washington.